Hey, this is Monty Belligerent here. Let me tell you something. Let me tell you what started this coronavirus thing. I'm going to tell you. I'm old enough to tell you. I'm a boomer, but I'm at the other end of the boomers. I'm, at, I'm a boom. I'm right at the beginning of the boomer generation. I'm a boom. All right? Don't be starting with that uh, boomer remover crap. But let me tell you what started this. I'm going to tell you. It's all this getting rid of plastic bags and straws. I'm going to tell you why. You ever see people bring their bags into the supermarket now? They bring their bags that they use over and over, their reusable bags. What do you think they're doing when they're leaving? You think they're washing those bags on the bottom before they come back the next day? No, no. What they're doing is they're taking that filthy bag that they use over and over and put in that filthy cart. Now think about that shopping cart. How many people use that shopping cart? They got kids with their filthy diaper asses in the front seat of that shopping cart. Women put their pocketbooks in the front seat. You know, that little seat where they sit the dirty ass diaper ass shit kids? They put their pocketbooks there and they leave them open. That's how I get to steal their wallet and take the money. And then I get confused when I get caught. I'm old. I didn't know there was money in there. But if I don't get caught, I use it. I go over to Jake's and I spend it all. But it's not my money. I'm using their money. That's the way I look at it. Anyway, I digress. The whole thing is those things, uh, are you all hearing me good? Because sometimes people can't hear me. Let me know if you hear me. But anyway, those shopping carts are filthy with bacteria and disgusting. See, the old days, you use a plastic bag, you put it in the bag, you take it home, you throw out the bag, or maybe you use it for garbage, but eventually the garbage gets thrown out. These reusable bags are used over and over and over every other day for, for a year. Disgusting reusable bags. These people are, these people are, people are disgusting, okay? Every year, 35,000 people die from the flu. Why? Because people are disgusting. They don't wash their hands. They go out with the flu. They go to the movies with the flu. They go to the bowling alley with the flu. They put their disgusting flu fingers in the holes of the bowling ball. And then next to you come over and you put your disgusting, you put your clean fingers in the disgusting thing. It's like putting your finger in somebody's asshole. That's when you put your fingers in a bowling ball. It's the same thing as putting your fingers in somebody's filthy, dirty flu asshole. And then you use that ball and you go home and lo and behold, two days later, you got the flu and you die. Nobody cares. Nobody, nobody shut down. They didn't shut down the liquor store because you died of the flu. They don't give a crap. Now, I'm not making fun of this coronavirus, but I, here's the second thing. Straws. Okay, we stopped the plastic straws because the turtles get the straws in their nose and we don't like that. Okay, we got to save the turtles. So now we throw away the straws and people are using their disgusting mouths in restaurants, their disgusting flu, disgusting flu-ridden germy mouths that they never wash for days, hipsters with their long beards that got cockroaches growing in there and, and lice and who else and who knows what else is growing in their disgusting beards that they never wash and they drink out of the glass. Can you hear me? They drink out of the glass. And then that doesn't get washed that well. You think these, these uh, restaurants have high-powered dishwashers? They don't. They just they wash it with a, probably a, a dirty, filthy rag that they use to wipe their asses. And their flu asses, they wipe the glass like this, and then they put your soda in it. Now you're drinking out of a hipster's filthy, lice-ridden, disgusting, roach-infested beard after he had his fingers up his ass all day. That's why you got the flu. So we got rid of straws, so it's not sanitary to drink out of the glass that was sitting up a hipster's ass, and it's not sanitary. Nothing is sanitary. People are disgusting. They've always been disgusting. Now they're going to stop being disgusting? No. You ever walk through Walmart and see all the disgusting people, and you say, look, that's a disgusting person. Well, you know, picture yourself with your finger up their ass. When you're, when you're using a glass, you've got your finger where their ass finger was, and you're getting sick. And you get the flu, and 35,000 people die of the flu every year. Some people get the flu shot. Some people don't get the flu shot. Other people just get the flu. So between the plastic straws now going with the glass that we got to put our mouths on the filthy ass and the disgusting reusable shopping bags that we bring into the supermarket with the dirty ass bottoms, people go home. You know what they do? They rub their ass. They clean their asshole with the bottom of the reusable bag, and they put it back in the shopping cart that you put your shop. Or they use, they put it in that little top thing, the little top seat where they had their dirty diaper baby's ass in, right? 
Well, you know, well, they they hold their hands on the on the cart. They hold their hands. They're filthy, disgusting, never washed hands. The flu ridden hands that they had up their ass all day that they're using the cart and going around. And you go in there and use the same cart. Now you got their ass terms all over your hands, and you go like this. Oh, oh, what time is it? I don't know what time it is. I got to rub my eyes and rub my nose and rub my mouth. Now you got the fucking flu, you assholes. So this coronavirus is a flu. That people all of a sudden are going to be sanitary? Yeah, for about two weeks. And then they're going to go out in the world and they're going to be as disgusting as they were before because that's their lifestyle. Their lifestyle is disgusting. So this isn't going to work. Save the planet, my ass. You're not saving the planet. You're killing people. Who are you saving the planet for? Nobody. Nobody's going to be alive. Just the planet. Yeah, the planet will be nice and green and wonderful because there's no people on there polluting it. So. What's the solution? There is no solution. And I don't care because I'm 72 years old and I'm going to be dead in a few years. So screw you bastards. Good luck with it. It ain't working. All right. That's it. I'm anti belligerent and I'm signing off. Good luck, you stupid assholes. And don't touch anything. Remember, some dirty hipster with the beard and the maggots and the, and the lice and the bacon is all in their beard and then they're touching their ass and then they're touching you. That's basically it. You're kissing these people and you don't even realize it. You're French kissing them. That's what you're doing. You're French kissing their filthy, dirty, flu assholes. Think about that for a minute. Goodbye.